All right, hey everyone, I'm at uh, CES 2026. I'm in front of the Oshkosh booth where they have some really cool stuff. Now, if you don't know about Oshkosh, they actually have a lot of sub brands <clears throat> that they have um, underneath their umbrella and they've been adding more and more as we go through here. Um, this is their really cool uh, demonstration. This is actually a, uh, I think Dallas-Fort Worth uh, uh, fire truck from the airport, uh, but you can actually hop up inside of it and check it out. Uh, this thing is 93,000 pounds which is crazy uh, if I flip the camera around here for you to show you how you get up to this thing. And it is something else. This is the real uh, fire truck that they have um, out there. So this is how they drive this thing. And what's cool about it is that it is a actually a hybrid uh, diesel. And so it has a diesel engine and then it's got electric um, propulsion in the transmission. So it's a parallel hybrid but uh, it goes zero to 50 miles per hour in 25 seconds, which maybe doesn't sound super fast, but actually is fast for a vehicle this size. And that obviously saves lives. The FAA has requirements uh, for them to, uh, to get uh, to the different areas of the airport as quick as possible. So what else they have here is a lot of different technology. If I flip around again here, they actually have their robotic um, boom lift. And it's actually going up there and it's pretending to weld this beam. So you have these little mini lifts and then up here it is actually uh, pertaining to weld that I-beam up there. So there it goes. So they are showing off a lot of robotic stuff here and some of this stuff is all concept um, and it's not out and then other stuff is out. Uh, so some of the stuff they've been doing with their different uh, companies under their umbrella is trying to leverage that technology uh, to spread it around. So here's an example of some technology that they have that is to help avoid uh, collision. So CAMS is their collision avoidance mitigation system. And they're adding that to uh, fire departments for uh, helping detect and prevent those rear end uh, crashes. So you can see on the screen here, what it's doing is it's using AI to look at all the incoming traffic and if it detects one's going to be crashing, they can start to take some action in it to help uh, the first responders respond to it. And that actually came from their racing, uh, Pratt & Miller, uh, that used it on their racetrack to actually detect when uh, competitors were coming up with different classes. Uh, some of them they're racing and some of them they're not racing. So they would detect that. Over here, uh, they have for refuge, they have a concept of actually an autonomous uh, little uh, carrier that you would actually call to your house and then it would you would throw your trash in and it would bring it back to a uh, a station um, to collect it all together so that all the large uh, trucks don't have to go down on the residential streets uh, they can just go to these uh, community hubs and then the other thing they have is actually contamination detection so using ai to look at the refuse that gets into the truck and then detecting if you know the recycling wasn't correct um, and they're able to pinpoint that based off the exact location where they picked it up. So they didn't even know the customer uh, that did that. So that's some of the other stuff that Oshkosh Umbrella has. Um, the JLG equipment, that is one of their brands as well. And then the um, autonomous stuff here that they're showing is conceptual, uh, something you could add to the G JLG uh, equipment line. If we go over here, they also have the airport uh, stuff. They're talking about using these robots as well for um, the airport where you can see here they have a little concept of the wheel chocks, the cones out there. So these are things that um, even you know backing up the airplane and stuff all autonomously. So this is the concepts they're looking at to see what can make sense in the future. How can you really optimize and um, improve uh, the world, and especially in their areas of kind of commercial and industrial spaces here. So over here they have one of their little robot um, machines and this one is Kind of like a security guard and this one would be for airports or any other place where um, if you had a guy sitting in the car um, trying to pay attention this would basically replace it drive around it has FLIR so that means it can detect you know heat signatures of objects and then obviously has cameras and uh, connectivity and all that kind of stuff that you can alert yourself to all right so if I just walk down the side of their thing you can see here that they have autonomy connectivity artificial intelligence and electrification. Those are their key areas of innovation. And if we walk down the side, this is a good summary of what they do. So the JLG equipment that I told you about, they actually have the Oshka Arshmel truck contract with the uh, US government that they're doing that. They have a lot of military uh, stuff that's out there, you, which you might not see or notice. 
And then all, a lot of the um, uh, garbage trucks, the re refuge trucks, the McNeilis brand, that's under the Oshkosh umbrella. Uh, Pratt & Miller does a lot of racing and other specialty engineering stuff. The Oshkosh branded uh, fire trucks, which is typically, I think, all the, um, the airport stuff. And then Pierce is another one that you probably see around your hometown. So they make the Pierce stuff. And then you have Jerdan, which does a lot of the um, tow trucks and um, rotator stuff. And then they have other um, industrial or airport uh, type equipment as well that showed. So that's kind of a quick range of Oshkosh and what they're doing here at CES. Here's their full lineup of their portfolio. And this is the first time Oshkosh has come as a umbrella company versus independently. So they're trying to really showcase how they're using all these companies together uh, to, you know, really improve each one independently and then, you know, really be in the top of the segment for each of their product lines.